Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing The Glitched Attraction. This is a new Five Nights at Freddy's fan game, which is themed around escape room style environments, all themed around Five Nights at Freddy's. And I think it ties in a lot of a classic Five Nights at Freddy's games, environments, and characters to sort of tell a new story. Now, I don't know too much about it other than it is an escape room styled game, so I may struggle with it. I'm not the best at escape rooms and like intricate puzzles, but I'm gonna give it a go because a lot of you have been asking me to play this game I've noticed and it does look quite interesting. I know very little about this game but what I'm going to do is record for about an hour, edit that gameplay down, see how far we get and then if I enjoy the game I'll continue it, if not we'll leave it as a part one. With that said, let's dive into the glitched attraction and see what this game is all about. Okay, select your difficulty. Don't worry, you will be able to change it in the pause menu while playing. So we get casual which is there will be checkpoints at the end of each room and in the middle of the levels all checkpoints will be saved. Whereas with normal it says there will be checkpoints at the end of each room and in the middle of some levels, only checkpoints at the end of each room will be saved. I'm doing casual guys, because I feel like I might struggle with normal mode. So let's get into it and see what this game's all about. Okay, we've got cutscenes, that's promising. Some Five Nights at Freddy's fan games have none of this, <laughs> so that's pretty good. Got a little message. Dude, this is from uh, Kyle E. Just left the new Fazbear attraction. My friend, take everything and come here. You have to see this. A location was sent to you. Just sent you the location. Go tonight. Hmm, don't know if I trust that message, you know. Like, who's Kyle E to us? Is he a friend? Like, he's a mysterious character, that's for sure. But we're going to the Fazbear attraction. Here we are. Is this like Fazbear Frights? Is that what it's meant to be? Right. Ooh, look at this. Hello, user. Hello. Welcome to the renewed and redesigned Fazbear attraction. Thanks. Here, Hi. you will experience all the creepy stories made by lunatic haters of Fazbear Entertainment since 1987. Cool. Where the robots come to life, a murderer roams the place, and accidents happen in the back rooms. Do not link to the two things of an accident. If you really <laughs> think you are prepared for this journey where you may experience things such as fear, panic, injuries, extreme sweating, epilepsy, fainting, heart attacks, and their variations, join us right now for a price of only $14.99. Pain will also make us not responsible for any of the symptoms mentioned before. <laughs> well, um, I don't know if I want to experience all of those things. I just want to have a fun game, right? <laughs> don't know if I want a, an epileptic seizure. Thanks very much. But $14.99, who can turn that down? Look at all the uh, little plushies in the background there and I just want to have a look around here. We've got another one here just sort of stood here but I don't think he's interactable. We've got the old uh, circus baby poster there of course. Alright I'm gonna just give him the $14. Thank you. There you go. Now before I open the door for you please give all your belongings to my mate in the other window. <laughs> your mate? Okay here you go. Here's my belongings. Excellent. The door has been opened. Thank you and have a new great experience. Okay, I will have a great new experience. Thanks. Nice. Little paper mache cutouts. Oh, look at this. Introducing Tip Manager. Okay. Tip Manager. Meet your best friend during this adventure. The Tip Manager. This incredible technology will help you get through all of the rooms of the attraction, giving you essential tips and hints about the level you're about to play. This introduction will teach you how to use and understand Tip Manager properly. Okay. Lesson 1. Check all tips before starting a level. You can use the arrows on the sides to see all of the tips as many times as you need. Remember, these tips are there for a reason. Lesson 2. Try to understand the tip before checking the next one. The tips are not meant to make Tip Manager a how to beat a level manual. You will get all the required information and then you'll have to use your brain. Okay, that might be a problem for me because uh, I'm not the smartest tool in the box. Lesson 3. Check the background images. They can make you understand the tip much faster, and even let you know how to avoid some of these dangers that you'll face. And finally, lesson four, well I don't know if it's finally, but lesson four, feel free to look over the room before starting. If you wish, you'll be able to look over and be in the room without danger before starting. When you're done, just come back to the tip manager. Lesson five, start playing. Press start once you want to start the level. Congratulations, you finished the introduction. Now press finish to continue and meet your second best friend. Feel free to read the lessons again. All right, I think I've got it. Ooh, what is this? 
Hey, Foxy, how you doing, man? The models are cool. And then we got Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Got a little song. Let's party. Yay, let's do a little dance. Do we have a crouch button? I don't know. These models look great. What's this? Oh, we get a prize, a flashlight. Hey, thanks, Foxy. I'll take it. Hey. <laughs> Press F for your flashlight. There we go. Cool. And now we can hit the button. And go through the door. Left controller C to crouch. Ah, there we go. I thought we must have a crouch button. So is this the first sort of challenge now, I guess? That music was very loud as well. I've got the sounds turned up quite loud so I can hear, like, um... You know, if anything's trying to attack me in the environments and stuff. <gasps> Ooh! Wait, is this the uh, FNAF 4 bedroom? Yep. We got a... Uh, just saw that. <laughs> Nightmare BB just sat on his chair. Curtains. Ooh, the box! The famous box that we never really found out what was inside. That sort of Scott teased us with for years is here. Maybe we'll finally get to open it. Just gonna have a little look round. Got a puzzle on the wall. Freddy puzzle. Okay. Bit of security breach reference there. No drawers. We must have to get through this, right? Through these boards. Man, I hate that thing. Alright, let's have a read of this. Curtains. Hold the curtains to keep them closed. Okay, so something comes through the curtains. Looks like Nightmare Freddy. Golden suits. Hold E or left click while looking at the suit to put it on. And then space to stop hiding. Oh no, we've got Nightmare Marionette. Okay. Freedom. Complete the puzzles and get out of a room before someone gets you or the time runs out. Alright, simple enough I guess. But where's the Freddy? Oh, he's here now. Okay, so we can get inside Freddy. Cool. Oh man, we've got a timer as well. 5.52. Can I open the drawers? Oh my god, what the hell? What the heck? Guys, already got got. He will be sleeping on his chair. When he starts to wake up, flash him with a flashlight to stop him. Okay. That actually scared me. I didn't expect to be uh, jump scared so quickly there. I'm gonna check all these drawers. Oh, key. There we go. That works, I think. Q to drop item. Oh my god, I'm gonna get in here. Get in! How'd you get in here? I can't get in! Guys, something's coming out and I can't get in. E, can I not get into this? That was super weird, I couldn't get into the Freddy suit. Ah, oh, you have to hold it for ages. I'm in space to get out of it. Okay, gotcha. We got the key. Key opens that. Oh god, okay. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, yeah, we're hiding, we're hiding, it's working. I got ya. Right, that's it, that's done. I need to keep searching for keys, right? Okay. Go, 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 hide. All right, he's gone. Oh, we need to get back in the suit. Man, this is so hard. Okay, we're in, we're in. We made it. That's it, you leave. You leave now. Man, it takes a while to get out of that suit again. All right, this is going to be tricky. There you go, we got him. You just have to shine the light on him. You don't have to actually flash it. Ah, there's a key. Okay, we're all good. Let's open this. Oh, we need to get in. We need to get in. We need to get in. Go, go, go. Okay, we made it. This is actually really hard. But it's all good. 
Okay, give me that flashlight, please. He's good. He's good. We can open this now. <gasps> I think we've got a piece of a puzzle. We have to get rid of those little Freddies as well. Nice. We've done that. Just check on the window. Everything's good so far. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now we can start... Ah, uh, yeah. Making the puzzle. Sweet. Freddy's still back. Cool. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Put the suit on. We made it. I'm getting the hang of this now, guys. This is kind... It is tricky, but it's doable. It's doable. Freddy's still over there. Settle down, BB. Just settle down. Okay. That's good. Settle down. Oh, okay. Hide. Is he gone? Yeah, he makes a little sound when he goes. Okay, that's good to know. Um, pop that there. Right, we gotta hide. In the suit we go. In the suit we go. Nice. Just in time. Cool. No! Go. Leave. Man, this is really sketchy. Okay. Um, how much more do we need? That's done. That's done. That's done. Let's check the window. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. They're all done. That's not. Okay. Back in the suit. Nice. Man, this is hard already for the first level because there's so much to manage, you know? There's so much to manage. And I really need the flashlight. I don't like the delay getting out the suit again. Okay. Go. Leave. Okay, good. Back to this. What needs to be done? It looks all like it's it looks like it is done. What's not done with this picture? Do I need to do something else in this room? Am I missing something? I feel like I might maybe missing something. Oh! Oh god. Okay, there's a little safe I missed, guys. There's a safe in that cupboard over there, so we need to go to that, I think. Alright, I got it, guys. I think I got it. 343847. 343847. 343847. Let's remember that. So, let's do it. 343847. Is that open? It is. We got a hammer. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. What's happening? I don't get it. Everything's just freaking out. Open. Quick. Oh my god. We're going to have to hide again. I'm not taking a risk, guys. We're just going to hide. We've got Freddy coming to the window as well. Nightmare Marion there. Or Marionette, I should say. <laughs> Not Marion. Let's just open this. Come on. Faster. Oh my god. What the heck? Go, 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 go. Let, let me through. Let me through, let me through. Oh my god. Bonnie's coming. Go, 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 go. Yes. We made it. Oh my god. Okay, that was frantic. We're in the second area now, guys. We're in the second area. Whew. So that was a FNAF 4 room. That was pretty insane. <laughs> Can't believe we actually had Bonnie. I turned around. I was like, what's that flashing? And it was like Bonnie walking. Okay, lockers. Use the lockers to hide. Do we even need this hammer anymore, by the way? Can I just drop that? Use the lockers to hide. Not all of them open. Okay. Freddy's music box. Yeah, this is FNAF 2, I think. Although, we've got Freddy in the music box instead of the puppet. Use a crank to wind Freddy's music box, but don't overwind it. Freedom. Here's the door for the exit. Complete the puzzles and get out of the room before someone gets you. That's the exit. Okay. Simple enough, right? Simple enough. We just gotta find a way out of this room. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I like the environment. Wait, what's that? 
Is that a little cupcake? Oh my god, Chica's there. We got Chica, we got we got a cupcake down there. What do we do something with a cupcake? I'm gonna have a look around this environment. What's that? One. Okay, so that symbol is for one. But I don't know why we'd need that symbol. Oh my god! Chica! Ah! <laughs> What Mangle was there as well? Mangle jumped in for a bit of uh, a bit of action as well. Okay. She will be crawling through the vents. If you hear loud noises near a vent, it means that she will jump out and look for you. Hide in a locker or get as far away from the area as you can. Be careful; both heads can see you. And if she does, give up. Okay, ominous. So yeah, it seems like for this one we need to find symbols numbered symbols we need to avoid chica you can't really hear chica is the issue yeah look we've got a number two there i'm just writing these down i'm pausing the game writing these down so i remember them guys oh my god mango's right there no i was boxed in how this game is so hard already oh the numbers change each time as well so you actually have to be mindful of the numbers changing. That's number four. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We've found a couple of the uh, symbols so far. Or oh, I can hear someone in the vents, I think. Hi. Oh my god. Balloon Boy just said hi. Is that luring Chica this way? Hmm. Oh, there's a symbol there. Number five. And here's the number pad. Here's the keypad with the symbols. So we need to input them on this. Oh my god. Run! Run from Chica, 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 run from Chica. Oh my god! Okay, both of them got us. Both of them got us, guys. That is actually tough. So yeah, like it seems like we have to find the symbols and then put them into the keypad in the order that we find them. So if it's like a number one and it's got a certain symbol, that's the first one we enter. Yeah, that seems to be it, I think. Six is that one. Don't know which way Chica's coming from. It wouldn't be too bad if it was just Chica. It's because there's two of them. Look, we've got a number two there. Mango's about to drop down, guys. I'm gonna hide. Yes, that was just in time. Look at Mangle over there. Okay, we did it. Cool. We made it. Ooh, a little Halloween-themed calendar there. Ah, number four. I hear Chica walking Hello. about. No. Bloom Boy did not greet me right now. That's number six. I just need to find like one more number and then we'll know what the missing one is. Come on. We got a little cupcake there. I don't know if we can maybe lure the cupcake. Or oh, sorry, lure Chica if we if we interact with the cupcake or not. No, I can hear a noise. Come on, where's that last symbol? Oh. I'm getting in. That, was, that one doesn't open. What the heck? Oh my god, that was so close. Mangle literally just drops down as we go inside. This game is way harder than I expected it to be. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys. So there's that one first, then that one, maybe then that one, this one. This one, this one. Ah! No! No, I'm dead. I'm dead, guys. 100%. Or maybe not. Has that worked? Access granted. Yes, it worked. I just kind of guessed based on the numbers we were missing. <laughs> um, okay, so that worked. Access granted. Oh my god, I think we've got Mangle coming. Let me through! Let me through. I'm hiding. That was close. Okay, we're hidden in the locker. This is good. We're hidden in the locker. 
What are these? One, two, three, four. Hey, we got lights. We got the music box now. Didn't it say we had to wind that? Engine power. We've got missing cogs. So we need to find the cogs for this, I think. All right, never mind. I'm gonna wind this. Okay. Hi. No, 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 no. Stay there. All right, let's have a look around. Cogs. Oh, there is a cog. Nice, we got one. Um, Man, this is tricky. I'll keep an eye out for cogs as we go. I'm gonna avoid Chica too, though, of course. Man, there she is, look. Where does this go? Where does this go? What the heck? I don't get this. I can't even add it anywhere. Oh. Oh, Chica's there. That was close. So you can hide from Chica. She doesn't automatically get you if you go in a locker. I think maybe if she's too close, she could. This is just hard. I want to wind Freddy's music box. Okay, Chica. Just chill out. Just chill out. I'm just going to wind Freddy's music box. One, two... We'll wind it up to five or six, right? Okay, good. Right, that's wound. No, nope. I'm running. 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 Right, we need to find these freaking things. I can hear mangle as well. Oh, gear. I think mangle's over there. Yeah, cheek is there and mangle's there. Stay there. Okay, that's two gears down. Hide. Mango's come in. You can hear him in the or hear her in the vent above. There we go. Look at that. We got a real close up look at Mango as she drops down. That's actually kind of cool. The models are like really cool in this game. Right, I'm gonna wind you up, Freddy. Keep you happy, yeah. Here we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, Chica's come in. I need to see where the other... Ah, there's a gear here. Is Chica still coming? No, she's turned around. Nice. That's another, ge that's another gear. Another collection. One, two, let's keep it going. Oh my god. Get back in. Chica's over there and I think Mango's about to drop in. Yeah, Mango's over there. I'm glad I moved. This is getting hard. I think we need like two more gears. But this is all about being patient, guys. This game. You know, we want to play it safe. Wait, is that a gear? Yeah, that's actually a gear. Okay. It's in Bonnie's mouth. Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks for your assist there, buddy. I'm just going to have a look around while we can't go this way. There's Chica there. Go, go, go. There is Mangle. We just avoided Mangle. Okay. Right. Another gear. That one there. We've got one more to find. Okay, I got the last one, guys. I'm going to wind Freddy a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Place this in here. Now the engine power's going up. Okay, let's wind Freddy slightly. There's one more. There we go. Still going up. I'm going to hide in here for a bit. We're just going to wait. We're just going to play it safe. Okay, I'm going to play it safe. 
Chica's over there, I can see her. All right, it's done. Open. Right, we're good. Let's wind Freddy a little bit more. Now we just need to find the exit. I think it's here. I'm going. I think we did it. Guys, I think we did it. Yes, we made it. Fazbear's Fright. We're in the next area. Okay, and look, we've got our favorite spring trap with all the other animatronics beneath him. And here we go to the next area. I can't believe we made that. That was actually intense. Okay, camera system. So this is definitely Five Nights at Freddy's 3, as you can see. We've actually got an arcade game over there, Save for Children. Okay, I think it's a bit late for that, but never mind. Camera system. Use the monitors to check rooms near your office. Power. Use the lever to turn the systems on and off. Doors. Use the levers next to the doors to open and close them. If the magnetization reaches zero, the door will open due to lack of power. Okay, so the doors run on magnets, which can run out. I just want to check the last one again. Levers to turn systems on and off. All right. Hallucinations. Oh, yeah. A staple of FNAF 3. Avoid looking at hallucinations. They like to be present, but not to be seen. Do not leave the office through the doors or he'll attack you. And that's it. I think that's it, guys. Oh, no. Freedom. We've got one more. Complete the puzzles and get out of a room before someone gets you or something reaches you. Okay, let's have a quick look at this. So is it... Wait, is it that? No, where's the exit? Oh, here. So this is our exit through this little vent. Don't know how we're going to fit in that, but... Never mind. I'm going to have a quick look around this room. Got some pictures on the wall here. Arcade machine. Here's the cameras it's talking about. We've got a locked box. So we're going to have to do something with this at some point. And then we've got two doors. Alright, let's just give it a go. I'll work it out as we go. Oh, great. They're opening now. <laughs> the doors have opened. Insert one Faz coin. Okay, we Warning. need to... Generator status overheated. Problem category critical. Sending emergency Joes. Okay, emergency doors map ventilation map one. Developer mode activated. Alright. Developer mode required. Activate developer mode in this room to use this function. We need a verification code. Ah, enter the code using the keypad, then verify. Okay. Let's just check the cameras. Oh, okay. Hello, Afton. How you doing, my friend? Uh, well, you're not my friend. I don't think we'd want to be your friend. Oh, what's this? 6279915. Can we try that? 6279915. Activate developer mode. Hey, it works. Nice. Hey, a fast coin. Okay, we can use it on here. Um, wait. Let's just check the cameras, though. He's still there. Do have to... Oh, wait. wait. Is that Dreadbear? It looks like Dreadbear a little bit. Maybe it is. Notification. Reason for problem detected. Fire in the area. Initiating fire protocol. E to interact with objects. Okay. Freddy, you must hurry. Everyone needs your help. And the Suez are in danger. Oh, and the souls are in danger. Go before it's too late. Okay. Wait, let me out of this. How do I quit this? How do I escape this? I don't get how... Oh, it's space. It's space. It's space. He's still there. They're all still uh, standing where they were, so I'd have to worry. I don't know if they've bugged or something. All right, let's go and have a look then. What's this? It's Balloon Boy. Hi, can you do me a favor? I'm busy fishing and I'd like to get balloons. Could you find me some? Okay. What's this guy? This guy's fishing. Hello there, I have a problem. I want to fish in this lake, but it's empty. Could you help me? Uh, okay. Do we have to, like, find different things for different characters then? Offline thing. Oh, he's moved. Wait. I'm gonna hide. Can I hide? I can hide. Right, I'm just gonna wait here and see what happens. Because I can hear someone in the vents. Do I have to do something with events? I don't know. Oh my god! 
Yeah, so I think we have to do something with events. I thought maybe hide under the table because it's out of the sight of the doors, kind of like Joy of Creation style. He will try to get into the office through the doors and ventilation systems. So if you see him running to a door, close it and then don't open it until he's gone away or he'll come back. So maybe we don't hide under the desk. I thought that that's like maybe what we did. If he gets some events, check in which duct he's in. If it is in the one that connects to the hallways, check which door he'll run to and close it. If he's in one of the ducts connected to the office, turn off all of the light sources and hide until you stop hearing his footsteps. Ah, okay. So we do hide under the desk. We have to turn out the lights. Let's just give it another go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work this out, guys. So we need to figure out where the code is again. It's not on the same poster by the look of it. Oh, it's over here now. 6921839. Verify that code. Go back. There we go. So how do we turn out the lights? That's what I want to know. Ventilation map. Ah, oh, this probably shows us like which one he's in, right? Notification. Reason for problem detected. Fire near the area. Initiating fire protocol. Yeah, I don't know how we turn out the lights though. Anyway, let's just try and quickly get through this. Maybe this is one of those things where we can Oh wait, balloons. Can we collect these? Balloon Boy said he wanted balloons, right? Do we have to speak to him first? Can you find me some balloons? There's balloons here. Ah, yes. Let me just do this and then I'm gonna quit out. Yay! Thank you, they're beautiful so much. Take this fish I caught. Oh, we can go back to the fish guy now. Okay, cool. Hello there, I have a problem, I want some fish. Yeah, here you go, I've got a fish. I haven't got a fish. I thought I had a fish. Okay, hello! Oh no, that was just, um, okay, I get it. Let me just close these for a second. That was just a, that was just a phantom. I just need to like close those doors while I work this out. Wow, great. Thanks so much. Take this as a reward. Oh. Someone's banging at the door. Have they gone away now? I don't know. What's he giving me as a reward? He's giving me something. I don't know. Let's go to this tent now. Help, help! C4D is missing. Please help me find him. Or maybe we go this way, actually. Yeah, we can go this way. Because time runs, you know, more than anyone. I'm talking seriously. My watch ran away and trapped me here. Can you find it? Oh, so we need to find a watch for this guy. Okay. Oh, it's. I think it's just here. I should really be checking the cameras, but I'm just like, screw it. I'm just rushing it. Uh, so we're going to give him a watch. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Here's a watch. Yay, amazing. And he's given us this. And I'm just going to run it all the way to Foxy. Which is over here, I think. Well, it's not Foxy, it's Mangle, maybe? I'm not sure. You found him, thank you. Take this key to continue. Nice. Okay, so we got through here. Emergency. Fire protocol. Failing. I know Fire. you are looking for the lost key. I'll give it Generator to you if you find Critical. something to light at this Return cave. It's too dark. Inevitable destruction. Time for generator exploding. Five minutes. Oh no, five minutes until the generator explodes. Great. Okay. I think we're dead. You know what? Screw it. Okay, so I did die there, guys, but that was kind of intentional. I just wanted to basically lock the doors, survive for as long as I could, and work out what we're meant to be doing in that minigame. We actually almost completed I think. So as you can see, it's like a fetch quest minigame where you have to take stuff and deliver it to different people. And I think I was on the last part getting the lost key just to unlock the last, like, section there. So this section might be okay as long as I'm watching the monitors a bit more. Now I know what I'm doing, so let's just play through it again. And yeah, we'll see if we can just like run through this. I'm gonna probably end the video after I beat this room because I think it would be a good place to stop. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do, I've been playing this for a while and I think I've figured out like basically what to do. So this turns out the lights. I didn't realize that for a while. That actually turns out the lights. So if Glitch Trap is gonna come through the vent here, it's hard to tell if he is or not, but if he's gonna come through the vent here, we need to knock the lights off, okay? Now, Dreadbear, 
can come through the doors if they're closed. He'll smash and break the door and come in and get us if we've got the door closed. So when Dreadbears come in from either the left or the right hand side, we need to make sure that these doors are open so he can come into the room. We then hide under the desk to avoid him, right? Springtrap needs the doors to be shut though, so he'll try and come from the left and the right of the room through these doorways. Otherwise, he's going to try and come through the vent in the middle of the room. So I think the best thing to do here is to keep the door shut always, keep an eye on where Dreadbear's coming from on the camera, and then the only way Springtrap can get in is through this vent. So that's kind of going to be my little sort of plan of action. However, the only issue is, of course, that we do need to keep checking the monitors to make sure Dreadbear's not coming over. We also need to be able to complete this mini game quick enough so that the power doesn't completely drain from the doors. But I'll give it a go, guys, and we'll just see how I get on. Um, let's have a look. We need to find the code again. I'm just going to check the cameras first. We'll check for Springtrap. We see him. Nope. There's Dreadbear. Right. Oh, he's in the vent. Springtrap's coming in the vent. Okay. Close that then. I think he's coming from the right side. Reason for problem detected. Fire near the area. Oh god, Foxy. Phantom Foxy there. Right, let's get started with this mini game. So, clock and balloons here. His balloon boy. Yeah, we know what you say, so we don't need to read it again. Let's take the balloons back to him. Here you go. Take the fish. Hopefully we've washed our hands before we took that. And afterwards as well. Right. Oh, lily pad. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to check these monitors again. Let's go back. Just got to be careful. I was being too careless before this level. Got a little phantom balloon boy there as well. Okay. Lily pad down here. Let me go and see this dude. He gives us permission for the clock, which is over here. Right, I can actually see Springtrap there, just staring into our soul. So we'll get back on this. I'm a bit worried about where Dreadbear might be, but I'm ready to leave the arcade machine if we need to. I want to do this mission first though. Right, there you go. There's your clock. Alright, let's check again. Check these cams. Wait, what the heck? Do we open this, maybe? Springtrap's still there, so Fire we're alright at the moment. Here you go, here's your little thing. We've got the key. Let's Time open this. Alright, where's Dreadbear? We've got Phantom Foxy in the doorway. I'm just gonna lay low for a bit, guys. Maybe I should... I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's not coming. I don't know. I just thought Dreadbear might be coming, so I wanted to hide. I'm going to have to check the monitors. He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Okay, that was close. He's using those eyes as, like, flashlights. Like headlights of a car. Dreadbear was a really cool character, but I don't know why he's featuring in FNAF 3. It's usually just Springtrap, isn't it? Right, back to business. So we go into the cave, meet this dude. Now we need to get the final thing, which is the torch, I think. I don't know where the torch is. Like the flame. There it is. Swipe. Go and check. Is that spring trap? Can't tell. I think it is. I'll open these up. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> I didn't know he was there. <laughs> okay. That was very close. That was very, very close. He doesn't stay for long, thankfully. So that's good. And I'll shut the door as soon as he leaves. Vents are clean. Spring trap's there. All right, let's finish this off. I'm gonna just try and do it in one run now if I can. Oh, 
Good job, take the key, here we go, okay. Into this tent, oh! We've got an afton. Please help me! Or a spring trap. I have been here for too long. I don't even remember who I was. But I know I used to be like you. I know I was human once. This is not me. This is not my face. It's not part of this game. What the heck? Let me out. Oh my god. Okay, that was abrupt. Wow, that's kind of graphic. Um, fatal error, right? Cool. Let's just check the cameras. We don't want to mess up now. We're getting really far. Okay, good. They're both on that camera. Good, okay. What is this? I don't get it. I think we need to open these guys. Alright, let's just check this. Okay, so we've got to follow these and then these. So we've got to match these to these, I think. So it'll be 63171. Oh my god, we've got afternoon events this side. Let's close that then. Okay. So let's do this. Six. Three. One. Seven. One. Open. Yes, the key. Okay, cool. So we'll open these again. Hard detected in the generator's essential emergency doors, we can find the open emergency doors. The open that. Time recalculated. Warning Go on. to all staff. Evacuate nearby areas and those connected to the generator room He's still there. Dreadbear's still there. And six, five, oh my god. Four, three, Go. Two, one. Okay, can we run? Can we get out? Yes, we can go. Go, 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 go. Okay. He's coming for us. Leave us alone, Springtrap. We haven't done anything to you, man. Yeah, kill him. There we go. That's how you do it. I don't know why his head popped off. <laughs> like, the outer shell just disappears. But we did it, guys. I'm going to be honest. That took me absolutely ages. That took me like an hour to do that part. <laughs> and it was really annoying, actually. Watch out, check no one is nearby before closing the door. Well, we've got that endoskeleton nearby, but it's not going to do much now. So that's Afton defeated, and now we've got the pizza world with all the sister location animatronics. Sister location is one of my favorite FNAF games. We've got an achievement there, two evil eyes as well. Oh, look, Circus Baby. Okay, guys. So this one is called Tesla Coils, and... Um, it's going to be like the sister location themed escape room. I'm actually going to end it there. I said I'd record like an hour and then make a video out of that. I ended up recording for almost two hours there. So quite a long recording there, but I'm going to cut it down into a, a video and kind of condense it and put in the best parts. I and mean, if you guys want to see more of Glitched Attraction on the channel and want to see me finish the game, let me know in the comments below and I'll be checking how many of you check this video out and then I'll make an assessment from there. But so far I'm enjoying it. It is a little frustrating, but I'm glad that it has the checkpoint system. That's for one saving grace. It kind of makes the game fun because you know that if you get far enough, you're going to get that checkpoint. With that said, this has been my playthrough of Glitched Attraction so far, and if you have enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.